Hello and welcome to SBC. And as you have already seen in the title of this video, this video is about this little yellow camera. And that's a special camera, of course. It's an underwater camera. And this camera, let's put it out of the box, has some features I really like. And uh, interesting history, by the way. But we talk about the history of this camera later. Okay, here we have the instruction manual. Let's unfold it. And here, very interesting, it's like perforation of a analog film. Nice idea for an um, instruction manual like this. So, should we read it? No, real men don't need instructions. Here's the camera. It's yellow with a cord in a little bubble wrap pocket. Let's pull it out. By the way, this camera here is brand new. Fresh and new unboxing version, if you like so. And so, we'll start with this review. Here we go. First of all, we have a nice focus-free lens. Viewfinder and this button winds the film. The shutter button and a film counter. Nice solid plastic case. It's good for around 3 meters, so not too bad. And I guess if you use a little silicon, you can even get deeper. Okay, here's the mechanism to unlock the case. Let's do it. Easy and nice to use. Okay, first time this camera gets opened. By the way, this cord here is really nice, even my big hands fit through it. And this is not the case on all cameras. Okay, and now we are talking about case. And this case is really nice made for a camera in this price range, of course. Plastic is clear, there is no special lens, it's just here to... And this is the mechanism to bind the film, here's the shutter button, yeah. It's all there, all working. A great piece. And now, we put it by side. And we took the camera herself. And the front of this camera we have a nice focus-free lens. A focus-free lens it's very useful underwater. It's not the fastest lens, but hmm, what should you expect? It's really not bad. Here you wind it and yeah, of course the shutter button is on top. The film counter is here. And this is the mechanism to rewind the film. You press this button and then you rewind it. Oh, and by the way, if you purchase this camera new like I did, she comes preloaded with film. It's the ISO 200 film in it. It's not the fastest film or not perfect for underwater. But you can't always change the film. And it's nice to have a free film in it. Okay, yeah. It's, it's nice made. No gaps or anything. The yellow plastic, it's perfect for diving. She lies nice in the hand, very useful without the case or in the case. Okay, let's take a closer look at the case and put her, her back in it. Yeah, it's quite easy, even with. Oh, yeah, this here is rubberized, so the camera will not shake around in it. Yeah, it's a nice construction, not expensive, but well made. Now close her and yeah. I like how the camera lays in my hand. It's yeah, it's comfortable to hold. The strap fits around my arm. Yeah. A really nice piece of equipment. I like it. so and as this case here closes really nicely, the mechanism is by the way really nice made. Um, 
I am curious to find out how deep this camera will go. I mean, they claim it to be 3 feet, but I guess the 5 should not be a problem. And now just we compare this camera to the camera case of my 3D GoPro case. It's like a normal GoPro case, just uh, 3D. Okay, yeah, the mechanism here works pretty closely to the other one but it puts a lot of stress on the case so I have to say that my simple little diving camera does a really good job here okay and now we're coming to the secret of this little diving camera this diving camera let's take it here is actually a GoPro and to prove I'm not lying, here are some pictures of the original, first, one and only GoPro Hero. And this makes it the cheapest GoPro you can still buy on Earth. It's around 10 bucks for a new GoPro without the GoPro branding. Now another piece of history. The young man in the blue shirt here is the founder and CEO of the GoPro company selling his own camera the first time on a teleshopping channel. <laughs> Isn't that great? Totally secure, but then when you want to take a photograph, it just pivots up, take the shot, but then it stays attached, so you don't have to worry about dropping it, and then it locks back down and you can get back to your activity. But wait, this video is not over yet. We we'll still have to take a look at some pieces. But first, we we'll take a look at this box. It claims to be water resistant up to 3 meter. And it's actually nice design to this fish on top. I mean, it's quite nice fitting the color of the camera. So, and now we just take a look at the instruction manual yes are actually nice pictures in it so we don't have to read as much as we need and it unfolds like a map and we are taking a look at those nice little pictures in case someone wants to buy this camera and buys it used and doesn't know how to use a camera <coughs> yeah it's Really idiot proof, like I wanna call it. It's really nice mate. It's international, you don't need any kind of uh, text here. It's really safe and explanatory. Here is the distance for shooting the best pictures. Yeah. And that's it. There's not quite more in this instruction manual. Yeah. I guess everyone who watches this video knows how a camera works. So let's fold it back together. Like we fold a map. And every man knows how to fold a map. Like this. And we are going to put this all back in his box. Where she lives. Because this is a collector's piece for me. And maybe try it out someday to the film. Who is in it? It gets too old, too expired. It's expired by now, so I don't care as much of this old film. So ah, I guess I will shoot it someday. And I have to wait to shoot it for a vacation or something. If I shoot it here in Munich, in the Eisbach or somewhere else, I get to freeze too much. So, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please do the usual links, yes. And goodbye.